On your mark, get set, duel. If I control no monsters, I can add Junk Synchron to my hand. Normal summon, Synchron Carry. Using my Synchron Carry's additional normal summon, I summon Junk Synchron. Synchro Summon. Level five, Junk Speeder. Activate Junk Speeder's effect. Our special summon, Jet Synchron, Assault Synchron, Revolution Synchron, Stardust Synchron, and Wheel Synchron. I'll activate Stardust Synchron's effect to search for Arriving Light and add it to my hand. Synchro Summon, Jet Synchron, and Junk Speeder. Four. Level six, Stardust Charge Warrior. Effects of Charge Warrior and Jet Synchron. Jet Synchron will search for Junk Converter and Charge Warrior will draw a card. I use my Wheel Synchron's additional normal summon to summon Junk Converter. Synchro Summon, Revolution Synchron and Junk Converter. For the level five, TG Hyper Library. Effective Converter, a special summon back, Revolution Synchron. Wheel Synchron can be used as a non-tuner so I will Synchro Summon, Revolution Synchron, Wheel Synchron to make. Stardust Dragon. Effect of TG Hyper Librarian to draw. Next I'll activate Arriving Light. Activate Arriving Light's effect. It will allow me to set Converging Wheels Dragon on top of my deck. And then, a Synchro Summon, Stardust Synchron and Stardust Dragon for a level 12 Synchro Summon. Crimson Dragon. TG Hyper Librarian effect to draw a card and reveal Converging Wheels Dragon. It will special summon itself and it'll special summon my Omni Dragon Brotar. I'll use Brotar's effect targeting my Converging Wheels Dragon to search for Stardust Worm. Next, I'll use the effect of my Wheel Synchron to reduce my Crimson Dragon's level by two. And then Synchro Summon. Crimson Dragon and Converging Wheel's Dragon. Four, level 11, Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Effect of Hyper Librarian to draw. Synchro Summon, Stardust Charge Warrior and Assault Synchron. Or level eight Synchro, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Effect of Hyper Librarian and my Stardust. Stardust will Special Summon. Jet Synchron back to the field and Librarian We'll draw a card. Now, Synchro Summon, Omni Dragon, and Jet Synchron for the level two Formula Synchron. Librarian effect, Formula's effect, and Arriving Light's effect to draw three cards. One, two, three. Next, I'll mill the top card of my deck to the graveyard to Special Summon, Revolution Synchron. Now, I'll tribute my Revolution Synchron and special summon for my graveyard, Stardust Synchron. And because I control a level eight or higher dragon monster, I'll special summon Stardust Worm. And then Synchro Summon, Stardust Worm and Stardust Synchron. For level five, Excel Synchron. Effective Librarian to draw. I'll end my turn, discard these cards. All right, duel. I draw. I'll start by activating Crimson Gaia. I'll use its effect to add a Red Dragon Archfiend or a card that mentions it from my deck or graveyard to my hand. I'll add Soul Resonator. Normal summon, Soul Resonator, and I'll activate its effect to add a level four lower fiend monster from my deck to my hand. Add Bone Archfiend. I'll send Crimson Gaia to the graveyard to special summon Bone Archfiend from my hand. And then I'll activate Bone Archfiend's effect to send a Resonator monster from my deck to the graveyard. I'll send Crimson Resonator and reduce the level of Bone Archfiend by one. Now, Synchro Summon, Soul Resonator, and Bone Arch for the level six. Red Rising Dragon. Effect of Hyper Librarian. And the effect of my Red Rising Dragon. When it's Synchro Summoned, I can target a Resonator monster in my graveyard and special summon it. Crimson Resonator, special summon. While the only other monster I control on the field is a Dark Dragon Synchro monster, I can use Crimson Resonator to summon two Resonator monsters from my deck. Special summon, Synchron Resonator. And special summon, Vision Resonator. Synchro summon, Red Rising Dragon and Vision Resonator for level eight. Meet Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. Effect of Hyper Librarian. And the effect of my Vision Resonator. I can add a Speller Trap from my deck to my hand that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend. We'll add Red Zone to my hand. 
Now draw a card. Synchro Summon with Scar Red Dragon Archfiend and Synchron Resonator to make level nine. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Effective Librarian. And the effects of Scar Red Dragon Archfiend and Synchron Resonator. Scar Red Dragon Archfiend special summons a Red Dragon Archfiend from my extra deck. It's treated as a Synchro Summon and then it'll destroy all attack position monsters you control. Synchron Resonator will target Vision Resonator in my graveyard to add it to my hand. Then I will respond with my Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon's effect, tribute itself, and perform a synchro. Okay. Tribute, special summon, Stardust Dragon, and immediately Synchro Summon. Formula Synchron and Stardust Dragon. Level 10, Satellite Warrior. All right, Synchron Resonator adds Vision Resonator back to my hand and Scar Red Dragon Archfiend, special summon. Red Dragon Archfiend from my extra deck and then destroys all of your attack position monsters on the field. You thought Satellite Warrior, thanks to Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, is unaffected by your effect. Mmm, okay. And then Library draws a card. I activate the effect of my Satellite Warrior. I can target your cards up to the number of Synchro Monsters in my graveyard, destroy them, and then my Satellite Warrior will gain a thousand attack for each destroyed card. I'm targeting all three of your monsters. Well, I'll use the effect of my Soul Resonator in the graveyard. If my cards would be destroyed, I can banish it, and none of my cards will be destroyed. As I control a dark monster that's level five or higher, I'll special summon Vision Resonator from my hand, and then Synchro Summon with Crimson Resonator and Red Dragon Archfiend to make Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Effect of Hyper Library. Draw a card. All right, and next I'll use the effect of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. By attributing a monster, my Vision Resonator, I can special summon a Red Dragon Archfiend monster in my graveyard. Special summon Red Dragon Archfiend. Now I'll enter the battle phase. Not so fast. Before you enter the battle phase, I activate Excel Synchron's effect to perform a Synchro Summon. Not so fast. I'll activate Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. It can target one of your monsters and negate its effects until the end of the turn. Target Excel Synchron. Fine. And now I'll enter the battle phase. Red Dragon Archfiend's going to attack. TG Hyper Librarian. Librarian is destroyed. And after damage calculations since it attacked a defense position monster, I can destroy all defense position monsters you control. Then I'll use my Majestic Star's effect to banish it and then banish and negate your dragon. All right, they're both banished then. But mine will return on the end phase. Well, anyways, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, attack Excel Synchron. Excel Synchron is destroyed. And then Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane will attack Satellite Warrior. This will deal 1,000 damage to you. Satellite Warrior is destroyed, and I take 1,000. And that activates Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane's effect. When it inflicts battle damage to you, I can special summon two tuners with the same level, one from my deck and one from my graveyard. And that will activate my Satellite Warrior's effect. To special summon up to, ooh, I and that will activate my satellite warrior's effect. To special summon up to three Synchron Warrior or Stardust monsters from my graveyard. All right, special summon Crimson Resonator from my deck, level two, and Vision Resonator from my graveyard, also level two. And I'll summon Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, Formula Synchron, and Stardust Dragon. I'll go to main phase two and set two cards face down. You're moved. During the end phase. Shooting Majestic, return. I'll Synchro Summon with my Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon and my Formula Synchron to summon Stardust Warrior. I'll activate Red Zone. It's a continuous trap that lets me special summon a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster that's banished or in my graveyard. It's a continuous trap that lets me summon one of my banished Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters. I'll special summon Red Dragon Archfiend to the field. I'll activate my Majestic Dragon special ability to negate one of your monsters. All right, well, I'll use Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss as Chain Link 2, and I'll target Shooting Majestic Star Dragon to negate its effect. Well, then I'll activate its other ability to banish it to negate and banish your monster. In that case, I'm gonna use the second effect of my Red Zone. While I control Red Dragon Archfiend and you activate a card or effect, I can destroy one card you control. I'll target Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. It'll be destroyed, which means it won't be able to banish itself and negate my monster. No, it won't, because I'm activating my Stardust Dragon to tribute it to negate that destruction. Ah, uh, and that destroys my red zone. Now my Majestic Star is banished. And Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Since my dragon was banished, I'll activate Assault Synchron to return my Shooting Majestic back to the field. 
Hmm. In that case, I'll chain Burning Soul, a quick play spell. If I control a level later higher synchro monster, I can add a card from my graveyard to my hand and then immediately conduct a synchro summon. So, Burning Soul, add Crimson Resonator to my hand, and then Synchro Summon with Red Dragon Archfiend, Crimson Resonator, and Vision Resonator for the level 12 Red Nova Dragon. I Shooting Majestic Returns. Vision Resonator effect. It'll add a spell or trap that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend from my deck to my hand. Add Crimson Gaia. Red Nova Dragon gains 500 attack points for every tuner in my graveyard. So since I have three different tuner mons, he currently sits at 5,000 attack points. Enter battle. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. Attack Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Bane. Fine, so Bane is destroyed and I'll take 500 damage. I'll move to my end phase and return my Stardust Dragon. Then I discard these cards to end my turn. Draw for turn. Normal summon, Crimson Resonator. And since the only other monster I control is a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, I can use its effect to summon up to two Resonator monsters from my hand or deck. Special summon, Synchron Resonator and Soul Resonator. Activate the effect of Soul Resonator to add by hand, Wandering King, Wild Wind. As I control a Fiend Tuner with less than 1500 attack, I'll special summon Wandering King Wild Wind. Now, I'll synchro summon with Crimson Resonator and Wandering King Wild Wind. Red Rising Dragon. Activate the effect of Red Rising Dragon. Special summon Vision Resonator. Synchro summon with Red Rising Dragon and Vision Resonator for the level eight. Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. I'll activate the effect of my Stardust Warrior to tribute and negate that summon. <sighs> All right, well, I'll enter the battle phase. Red Nova Dragon has one, two, three, four different tuner monsters in my graveyard, so it's 5,500 attack points. I'll attack. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. My dragon is destroyed, and I'll take 1,500 damage. Main phase two, I'm gonna activate. Crimson Guy, and I'll use its effect. I'll use Crimson Guy's effect to add my red zone from the graveyard back to my hand. Now, set one and two cards face down, and end my turn. During your end phase, my Stardust Warrior returns to the field. Draw for turn. I'll activate the effect of my On Your Mark Get Set Duel to send it to the graveyard. Draw two cards and then send one card from my hand to the graveyard. Now I'll use Synchro Overtop to special summon as many level seven or eight dragons from my graveyard with different names as I want. I'll summon Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon and Stardust Dragon, but their effects are negated and they're level one. And that's not all, because I also activate Synchro Rumble to special summon a tuner from my graveyard. And now I'll perform a limit over Excel Synchro Summon with my Stardust Dragon, Stardust Dragon, Formula Synchron, and Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon to make Cosmic Quasar Dragon. And I'll activate my Quasar's effect to target your face-up cards and negate their effects permanently. And now I'll activate Pot of Avarice. I'll send five cards back to my deck to draw two. I'll send back my Satellite Warrior, Formula Synchron, Stardust Dragon, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, and Crimson Dragon, draw two to draw two. Now I'll activate Stardust Illumination. Send from my deck, what's left, Stardust Trail. Next, I'll normal summon Junk Converter. Then I'll tribute my Junk Converter to special summon from my graveyard, Stardust Synchron. And because a monster was tributed, I special summon Stardust Trail. Synchro Summon, Stardust Dragon and Formula Synchron for Satellite Warrior. And then I'll activate Satellite Warrior's effect, targeting all of your cards to destroy them and gain attack. Not so fast. I'll use the effect of my time to stand up in the graveyard. Since I control a level 10 or higher Dark Dragon Synchro, I can banish it to negate a monster's effect. So I'll negate Satellite Warrior, meaning he doesn't destroy my cards and doesn't gain attack points. Fine, I'll enter battle. Cosmic Quasar Dragon, attack Red Nova Dragon. Red Nova Dragon's effect is negated, so he's only 3,500. I'll take. 500 damage. Then Stardust Warrior, attack Soul Resonator. Satellite Warrior, attack Synchron Resonator. And then 
I'll activate Cosmic Quasar's effect. I'll banish it, the special summon, Cosmic Blazar Dragon. And now, Blazar, attack his last resonator. You attack Vision Resonator. Since it's into the graveyard, I'll activate its effect. Add a Red Dragon Archfiend Spell or Trap from my deck to my hand. I'll activate my Cosmic Blazar's effect to banish it and negate that effect. I'll move to my end phase, and my Cosmic Blazar returns to the field. Mm, okay. In that case, draw for turn. I'll activate the effect of Wandering King Wildwind in my graveyard, banish it to add one of my resonators from my deck to my hand. I'll add Soul Resonator. Normal summon, Soul Resonator, and activate its effect to add a level four or lower fiend monster. Add Wandering King Wildwind to my hand. Discard one card to special summon Bone Archfiend from my graveyard. I'll activate the effect of Bone Archfiend by sending a resonator monster from my deck to the grave to increase his level to five. And I'll activate the effect of Bone Archfiend to send Crimson Resonator to the graveyard and increase his level to five. Now, since I have a level five or higher dark monster, I can special summon Vision Resonator from my hand. And since I have Fiend Tuners with 1500 or less attack on the field, Special Summon, Wandering King, Wild Wind. Wandering King, Wild Wind, and Vision Resonator, Synchro Summon. For level six, my final Red Rising Dragon. And I'll negate that final Red Rising Dragon with my Stardust Warrior, Tribute. All right, well that still means that I can use the effect a Vision Resonator to add, well that still means I can use the effect of my Vision Resonator to add a Speller Trap that mentions Red Dragon Archfiend. I'll search my absolute power force. Now, since Bone Archfiend is level five and Soul Resonator is level three, Synchro Summon to make my Red Dragon Archfiend. I'll activate my Cosmic Blazar's effect to banish it and negate the summon of your Red Dragon. I'll activate my own copy of Synchro Rumble. Target level seven or eight Dragon Synchro Monster in my graveyard. My original Red Dragon Archfiend in defense position. Now, activate the effect a Red Rising Dragon in the graveyard. I'll banish my first Red Rising Dragon to special summon two level one Resonator monsters. My two copies of Synchron Resonator. And now, Synchro summon with all three of these monsters for Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, bang. Then I'll activate my Red Zone. I'm gonna banish Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, Red Rising Dragon, and special summon it to the field. Now, use the effect of Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, bane, tribute Red Rising Dragon, to special summon the one, the only, Red Dragon Archfiend from my graveyard. Now I'll activate my final spell card, Absolute Power Force. I target my Red Dragon Archfiend, and this turn, if it battles an opponent's monster, it applies four different effects. It'll gain 1,000 attack points. You can't activate cards or effects. If it attacks a defense position monster, I do piercing damage, and any battle damage you take is doubled. Now. Enter the battle phase. Red Dragon Archfiend. With 4,000 attack, attack Satellite Warrior. My warrior's destroyed. That means you'll take 3,000 damage because your damage is doubled. And thanks to Absolute Power Force, you can't activate its effect. Which means, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane, attack directly. I lose.